A while ago, someone asked me if I could heat my camper van using the Wabasto X100 diesel cooker. Whoever you were, this video is for you. There are a couple of other videos on my YouTube channel which look at the X100 installation and cooking times, so I won't repeat all that here. In my camper van, the habitation area volume of air to be heated is at most 7 cubic metres or around 250 cubic feet. On the day of testing, the external temperature was 10 degrees C and the internal starting temperature of the habitation area was 9 degrees C after a cold night. In order to optimise airflow, I placed a stove fan on the right hand side of the hob, which is effectively more for simmering than boiling, such that the hot air rising from the hotter plate will be pushed towards the back of the van. I put the thermometer on the opposite side of the van on a cold flat surface with relatively little air movement as it was blocked by the clock. I'm not a big fan of using equipment at its maximum setting as I take the view that there's no point in stressing a system if you don't have to, so I initially put the X100 hob to its setting of 4 out of a maximum of 6. After about one hour, the air temperature in the camper had climbed to about 19 degrees C, so quite comfortable. I then moved the X100 hob setting to 2 and after half an hour the habitation was still at a toasty 19 degrees. 30 minutes after turning the hob off, the temperature had dropped to 17 degrees. Wallace obviously make the XC Duo heater and cooker, which I believe is based on the X100, which has the benefit of a dedicated cover and a fan. On the plus side you have the increased safety of the cover, and on the downside I guess you have the cover. Anyway, in answer to the original question, can you use the X100 to heat a camper van, the answer is a big yes. It's all good.